Hey guys, it's XPK here again, giving you tips on how to get out of silver tier. I've smurfed a lot and played in every tier aside from Master and Challenger. Last week I made a video on how to get our bronze, and I'm going to steal some of those points just for this video. If you finished your placements and landed yourself in silver or you've climbed out of bronze, I bet you're saying, I am so much better than those bronze noobs. Technically, that's not true. Yes, theoretically, you're better than them, but the difference between Bronze 1 and Silver 5 is not very noticeable. That's why I feel that I'm able to steal some points from the previous video. Since you're in Silver, I'm going to assume that you already know the basics of the game, like how to CS, where to ward, buff timers for buffs as well as Dragon and Baron timers. I've explained in the last video that CSing is very important because it's free money. Knowing how to CS and CSing well is very different because one might have knowledge and on how low the minions have to be before you can auto attack them but not be able to follow through on it during game due to enemy aggression or showing too much aggression. In how to climb out of bronze video, I said having 60 to 70 CS per 10 minutes should be your goal. Well, I lied. Having 60 to 70 per 10 minutes is good for silver. In bronze, I suggest having 50 to 60 in the first 10 minutes. The CS gap isn't that huge between bronze and silver because bronzes show a lot of random aggression and not very focused on being ahead by being aggressive or leading in CS. Silvers also show a lot of random aggression as well, but sometimes they also show good calculated aggression making it harder for you to CS. Next one is mechanical skill. Yes, we finally come down to mechanical skill. Mechanical skills are always useful, but weren't very necessary in bronze level. Some of you might be thinking, what's mechanical skill? Well, mechanical skill can be described as how well you can move to mitigate or maximize damage while dueling. For example, you're a marksman fighting another marksman, and the enemy marksman moves back after auto-attacking because it appears to him that he'll lose. If you just stand there without reacting to it, you end up winding your auto attack animation and then castling the actual damage itself as he walks out of your range. Meaning, in order for you to do your damage, you have to catch up to him, click him, and wind up your auto attack animation again before you can actually damage him. One way for you to actually fix this is to always move between auto attacks. Even if your opponents are moving, you'll be able to react faster to when they do, and it's always good practice to move around. Last but not least, items. In the bronze video, I mentioned that you should itemize according to what kind of damage your opponent deals. In bronze level, winning your lane and staying ahead by itemizing right will generally work out for you. But in silver level, you're going to have to do a bit more. If you've ever seen my stream, you'll constantly see me pressing tab to check the enemy's items and their farm. Comparing yourself to your lane opponent is a good way of gauging how much impact you'll have in the game. If you feel that you're already ahead of your lane opponent by a good enough margin, it's always a good idea to compare your other lanes to see which enemy might end up being a problem in teamfights and begin to itemize for that. If you have problems understanding or need clarifications on how to improve yourself based on this video, feel free to send me a message on Facebook or YouTube and I'll do my very best to help. If you feel that I missed something major in the video, post in the comments below. If you liked the video, well, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks for watching guys, I'll be back next week with how to get out of gold. See you guys next week.